sitting at 50 degrees in Birmingham, but we have some locations starting the morning in the 30s. Check it out. Pell City at 37, Gadsden at 38, elsewhere a mixture of 30s and 40s, uh, so a little bit chillier, about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than where we were just 24 hours ago. Here's a live look from our Clanton camera early on this Tuesday morning. We've got a few folks out and about. Clear sky, that means no trouble as you're headed out the door to work or school. Maybe you're planning a walk or a jog. We'll still be near 50 degrees at 8 a.m., warming into the 60s by 10 a.m. And by the later part of the afternoon, I'm forecasting our highs to end up a little bit warmer than where we were yesterday. Low to mid 70s for highs today, which is right on track for where we would expect to be this time of year, and we do get full sunshine. So if you're sitting out in the sun, it's just going to be another spring like day. Wanted to break down for you where our highs are going to be. So we're generally looking at low 70s north of I-20, mid 70s a little bit farther south, but all of us a couple degrees warmer than yesterday. We do have another dry day in the forecast tomorrow before rain returns on Thursday. We will keep some wet weather into Friday. Saturday looks to be a mainly dry day before our next front moves in very late Saturday evening, lasting into early on Sunday, bringing with it a few showers from time to time. I did want to point out that the Storm Prediction Center for Thursday has placed part of Alabama in a marginal level one out of five risk. This really doesn't include our area. We aren't expecting any kind of severe weather from this system. Any kind of threat of a strong to severe storm is going to hold to our southeast during the day on Thursday. We're just going to get general rain, maybe a few rumbles of thunder possible. Wanted to break that down for you here. This is 6 p.m. on Wednesday, so this is tomorrow evening. Clouds building in. Eventually, late Wednesday evening, we could start to see some light rain showers moving in from the south. That coverage expanding for Thursday morning and wet weather likely at times through the day on Thursday. So a day you're going to probably just want to have the rain gear handy. Rain will continue into Thursday evening with some wraparound showers possible into Friday. But remember, it does look like Saturday we get a mainly dry day. So if you have weekend plans at this point, Saturday looks to be a mainly dry and warm day. Highs in the 80s under a partly cloudy sky. That next front will be moving in late Saturday evening, bringing with it the chance of showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder Saturday night into Sunday. But at this point, it does not appear to be a severe threat for central Alabama. 